Good evening guys and thanks for watching Chemical Apes. I'm Ben and I'm going to be talking you through the intro uh, of Subnautica. So quick fast guide on how to get started um, and it is really really simple once you know how. So let's get going. So we're going to be looking at core materials uh, initially. We're going to be looking at titanium. We're going to be looking at food and water. Uh, food and water is one of the issues throughout the game in terms of you constantly need it, particularly water. So water, uh, what you need to look out for is these pink fish here, bladderfish. Uh, they're a great source of water and you can simply take it to the fabricator. One eye. Weird. Um, simply take it to the fabricator and you can create the water and that will give you around about 20, uh, 20 units out of this, this water gauge here, out of 100. And then away you go. It will then be put in the inventory plus 20. So there's your, there's your hunger, there's your health. So what we're going to be looking at is titanium, uh, food and water. We're going to be looking at getting the sea, uh, sea glider and getting you ready, prepared for going out onto deeper waters. For now, uh, all we need to do is stay in the safe shallows. Uh, and the way we do this is really, really simple. Get him. Oh, no, I missed him. Is look at the borderline. So as soon as you see those weeds there, that is a kelp forest. Uh, you don't necessarily need to go there just as of yet. Um, everything is within the safe shallows to begin with. So now what I've just picked up is metal salvage. So you can see it there. Converting that will great create four titanium, so it is well worth it. Uh, you probably need a couple of those to get started. Again, here you'll find these limestone outcrops. What they do is give you copper, titanium, they give you silver, and they can give you gold. Now, for the most part, you're going to want titanium and copper. Um, on the odd occasion, you're going to want gold. Now, what you will come across is wrecks like these. Now, these wrecks have certain uh, blueprints. Uh, so, for the sea glider, uh, sea moth, further and further you go. Uh, we, we're not at that level yet. We need the scanner. So, we're going to look at start building that shortly. So let's pick up this um, metal salvage. There we go. I've still got him in my hand, and he is strange, strange fish. <laughs> Look, he's looking at me. Oh, watch the uh, yeah. Those are the blower fish. Uh, I believe they're called blower fish. Maybe uh, they they basically take a. A real sort of uh, nose dive straight for you and explode and wipe out around about 20 health. So let's go back to the fabricator and let's convert this this metal salvage here into titanium. So for each part, you get four titanium. So I believe eight will get us started. Once you've hit that point, you can start making uh, waterproof lockers. Now they're really handy. Uh, I do advise to build those uh, because y yes, you have got your inventory, uh, those slots, and you have got that container. But what you will find is that it's not enough. You want to be building those resources as much as possible. Um, 
Okay, so the first thing you should be making with the titanium is the, the standard air tank. Allows it gives you that 30 seconds extra of of air. Um, so you're not having to come up every 30 seconds. Let's get some more water. Now the next thi next things we're gonna be looking at are the so we've looked at the, the the types of the different types of uh, fish, uh, particularly well the, the the bladder fish to make the water. You can actually make food with that as well. Uh, and we've looked at the, the tank. We want to be looking at the fins. We want to be looking at the scanner. We want to be looking at the repair tool. Um, and then other things will come into play with that. So the repair tool is for these things once we get the repair tool we can start getting the radio active getting everything active in here um, and away we go so okay so what do we need repair tool so we need the silicone rubber and we need the cave sulfur for the fins we need rubber so okay so one of the main things is a rubber now I mentioned before the kelp forest Kelp forest surrounds the safe shallow, so it's the one with ones with the tall weed, um, the biome with the tall weed, and it, you can be fa you can find it on this side, uh, face where the aurora is, or the opposite side, going that way. It practically surrounds the. Uh, it's a next depth level, if you like. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so these are the the, the bad guys. Within the kelp forest, you can see them sort of roaming about. Typically, you don't get these um, within the safe zones, but I'm guessing these ones. And here we go. Now, in order to get the rubber, we're going to be looking for some yellow seeds on these on these vines here. Uh, they will. They're almost luminous, so you can't really miss them in almost, in all honesty. Uh, just keep on going. Keep on going, and there we go. Big batch. If you find yourself running out of air, you don't want to go to the top. There are these brain corals that release oxygen. Really handy. So just hover it over it. This planet grows in unusually distinct For and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. And it'll give you that bit of air that you need. Thirty seconds. Okay, let's uh, get these. And you want to get close up. There you go. Get as many as you can do, really. So you're not having to venture out here every two minutes they've been with. Let's get some air. Oxygen. So soothing the music at this point. It gets a lot, lot worse. And you know, you, you, you look at the depth and you think, wow, God, that's scary, that's deep. And it just gets deeper and deeper. <laughs> okay. Let's get it. Uh, make sure you, you get these, plenty of these. These are your core food and water resource to begin with. They're slow, they're easy to catch. Um, you can go for the peepers, which are the one-eyed ones, a little bit faster. Sa same, same thing to begin with. So, let's cook that. Okay. Uh, sorry, let's cut the fish. There you go. So we can do the blood of fish as uh, as food. We can do the blood of fish as water. Again. Let's get this health up. Come on. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right, now with these here, these uh, crude vine seeds, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to create the rubber. This rubber is one of the vital components within the game. Uh, it allows you to create a whole array of um, equipment. Uh, 
and I'm gonna make. Just keep on going. I'm gonna do one lubricant. I'm not too sure what we'd need it for at this point, but is essential in construction of we're gonna do it anyway. And, power plants. and then we're gonna go to the. There we go. So we've got knife. Available, local radiation levels. which is very and handy. Is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. Sustained what else do we need for the repair tool? Cave sulfur, we need battery. Okay, for battery we need copper or acid mushroom. So we're going to be looking at the copper and we're going to be looking at the cave sulfur. I believe we can do those in one go. So, typically, uh, wow, directly underneath. Typically, copper you can find in these outcrops here. Or you get titanium, <laughs> which is typical. Um, the different biomes obviously have different minerals. Now, with regards to the safe zone, it's typically copper, you get titanium, you will get the odd silver and you won't get the odd gold. Uh, but that's it. Um, so if we venture into some caves, we find a cave. There's another outcrop. Come on. Copper there we go. Copper. Component of all so again, Your that's a venture very far. Has just increased to unlikely we need the cave sulfur. Now the cave sulfur, you guessed it, caves. So we're going to find a cave. There's so many caves around, you, you don't have to venture far. Uh, the pretty much everywhere you need to uh, um, see the fish come out there chasing it oh blow a fish there we go now what it's come out of is this cave sulfur detecting sulfur deposits in the Get local cave systems sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool Okay guys, um, we're going to head back and we're going to get the scanner going. Once we've got the scanner going, I think we're good to look at the sea glider. Just every time we pass these. more water. Cut that fish. Okay, repair tool. There we go. We've got the silicone rubber from the sea cluster vines. We've got the cave sulfur and we've got the titanium. And we're going to equip it and we're going to fix this up. Oh. Wow. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. There we go. There we go. Right, okay. Next step is the scanner. So, main component is titanium and then battery. So, battery, we're looking at acid mushroom. We've got the copper ore. We're looking at acid mushroom. Now, you think acid mushroom dead easy you can literally dive outside of the light pod and it will be I can guarantee it will be underneath it so uh, uh, wrong one oh no yep yeah. ok so resources electronics battery there we go. New blueprint acquired. I'm gonna go for the scanner. Scanner is something you will use throughout the game continuously. 
Um, it allows you to scan pretty much anything, so metal salvage, it will give you data on that. Uh, a lot of it, you can view it, a lot of it is pretty much um, straightforward. Uh, stuff you don't really need to know. However, the scanner comes massively into play with the blueprint. So, for places like wreckages, um, you can scan certain pieces of uh, equipment and then you'll get a blueprint. It may take one part, it may take five parts. Um, you sort of build those blueprints. Once you've got all the parts, you can then build uh, that piece of equipment. So we're going to look for the sea glide. So here we go, part of the wreckage. Again, don't venture too far out. We don't need to at this point. And look in these boxes, these cargo boxes here. Sea glide fragment. Number one, and that's one of two. And there we have it, guys. Okay guys, so I'm going to wrap that up there now. Uh, so just to recap, we have now found the sea glide. We've kept within the safe shallows. We want to stay within that border. Um, the furthest we want to venture out is the, the kelp forest, which is where we're going to get the rubber from. Uh, and that is it. Uh, once we've got the sea glide, we've made the sea glide, we can then start looking for the sea moth. That's going to be in the next video. Please subscribe, please like, any comments more than welcome. And that's it. Take care guys, bye bye.